What you're viewing right now is a website that I have called affiliateadvice.us. And on affiliateadvice.us, I tell people about affiliate programs that I've actually earned some income from, where I've actually gotten a check from marketing these products. And I have really been neglecting this site, and I really want to get it back to where I can actually do some things with it. And so what I did was took the site, and I set it up inside of movable type. But what I need to do is actually configure the templates for this site inside of movable type. And I don't understand cascading style sheets. I mean, I understand the concept, but I don't understand how that works. Like, I don't understand how to make that work. But I do understand how to build an HTML page. And maybe you don't feel like you could build this page. Elsewhere on this website, you can learn how to build a page like this. It's really not that complex. I want to take this template and put it inside of movable type. So I'm going to go log in to movable type and I'm going to show you how I'm going to configure the template that I want to edit to make it look like this but so that I can publish it inside of the content management system instead of continuing to build one-off pages and then try and upload them to the server one by one. So I'm here inside of movable type. I've logged in and I've gone to my affiliate advice blog inside of movable type and I want to go to edit let's say the category archive and that's the archive that actually well, let me just go show you this on affiliate advice right now okay so I'm on affiliate advice and the page you're looking at right now is actually the index template and I've already edited the index template and so I'm gonna to go to the individual link the individual entry that I built this is running from the individual entry template. So I've obviously edited this one as well to look like I want it to look. But if I go click on one of these categories over here, let's say affiliate philosophies, it takes me to this. And this is still using the default template from movable type. So I want to go edit this template because I don't want it to look like this. I want it to look like this. I wanted to actually have the affiliate advice banner up in the corner. And maybe this isn't the prettiest layout, but you know, this is actually starting to look like a website right now where this looks a lot more like a blog. So I want to configure this so that it actually looks like a website. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to go back over to movable type. And inside of movable type now I actually have the category archive. So I'm going to click on the category archive. And inside of the category archive, you can see that there is a bunch of text here. And all of this stuff is code telling the computer or the internet browser what to actually put on the website. What I've done is highlighted it, and I'm going to go ahead and copy all of the info out of here. And then I'm going to go back over to Microsoft Front Page. Now I open Microsoft Front Page, and in here, I'm going to create a new page, and I'm going to go into the HTML portion of that front page setting and I'm going to go ahead and paste. So now if I look at all of this it's all pasted in there. Now I don't know what all of that code means. I mean I know what a fair portion of it means but I don't know what all of it means all of this stuff in here. So that's okay but if I go down here and I go I click into the field that doesn't look like anything. It doesn't even look like the page I just showed you. This page. It doesn't even look like that. It looks like just nothing. What it's doing is pulling for this page, it's pulling all the information from what's called a style sheet. And I'm not very good with style sheets yet. I'm getting better, but I can build a pretty simple but good looking HTML page. But I don't want to mess with style sheets right now. I mean style sheets are something I want to learn, I'm trying to learn, but it's not something I want to mess with right now. So what I'm gonna do is take the little pieces out of this code here and actually put it into this template so that I can make this page look like this page. If you didn't get all that, go back and just watch that little portion again. I'll just do it again. I'm going to take this code, what's in here, and put it into this page. And the goal is to make this page look like this page. 
Make sense? So what I'm going to do to make that happen, well, I'll go back down to front page here and show you. So inside of all of this apparently looking gobbledygook kind of stuff is a bunch of info that I'm actually going to need to actually cut and paste into this template. So I take, and I built this template, but you can go download templates from anywhere on the internet. There's a ton of free places to grab templates to make your website look nice. And if you want to, you can actually post a comment down below if you find a good template site and you want to share it with everybody. Inside of here, as I'm looking at the default movable type installation, there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a reference to a style sheet. And remember I said I don't really know how style sheets work yet. So I'm not going to actually necessarily use that style sheet. What I'm going to do instead is grab the stuff that actually makes the page look the way I want it to look. So inside of here is a little code called MT Entries. And I'm going to take everything between MT Entries beginning and MT Entries ending. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to take it back over to this part here. And I'm going to highlight everything that's in the middle of this page. And I'm going to go ahead and delete all of that. All right. Then I'm going to go back up into this box where the HTML code is. And I'm going to go ahead and click Paste. All right. So now what's going to happen is everything I just pasted in there is going to show up inside of here. So it's all in there. So now what I'm going to do is take all of this code up here. I'm going to select all of it. I'm going to copy all of it. And I'm going to go back over to movable type. And I'm going to paste it into movable type. So now that it's pasted, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now it comes back and says your template changes have been saved. And I'm going to go ahead and click to rebuild the site because I want it to rebuild this template. So I click Rebuild Site. The little box pops up and says, do you want to rebuild everything? No, I just want to rebuild the category archives only because that's what I just worked on is the category archive, right? So I want to go ahead and rebuild category archives only. It rebuilds those category pages. And then it says, your category pages have been rebuilt. View your site. Well, I'm going to go back to that page that I already have open, and I'm going to click Refresh. And when it refreshes, it's now gone away from the other page that I had, and it's now set up as this page. Now, I can tweak this to the nth degree, and I can make it look exactly like the other page that I showed you before, this page. And I will. I'll go through and make all those changes and tweaks, but I just wanted to show you, you can use front page or dreamweaver or any of the programs that you're used to using to edit a template and make it look like you want it to look and make it look pretty nice especially if you found a template an html template that you like already you can just stick with it so i hope this has been helpful thank you for visiting us today at tellmehowtodothis.com and we'll look forward to seeing you back here very soon